I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery and today our DIY craft is learning how to tie a bow with tool. This is one of my favorite things to use for weddings, parties, it's just a soft material and makes a beautiful bow. So what we're going to do is I like to keep it on the roll as we're making our bow and I'm just going to start looping it around. This also works great on presents if you do gift bags. This is just a neat product to do lots of different things with. So I'm just looping it around, adding the loops in between my thumb and my forefinger. And I don't want to do a really big bow with this one. So that's all I've done. I've done an eight loop bow, so four on each side. I'm gonna cut the tool off of the bolt. And for this one, I actually am not going to add tails to it. So I'm just going to add my piece of wire. I'm gonna wrap it right around in the middle and pull it just as tight as I can. So now I would be ready to add this to my gift bag. Now something else you can do is you can add different colors in. So you're gonna gather them all together and we're gonna just do the exact same thing. You want to make sure though that they kinda get pulled tight with each other. And I'm just going to loop it around again. So I'm just making my loops, putting it between my thumb and my forefinger. The great thing about this is, it, this doesn't hurt your hands as much as sometimes when you're tying bows, your hand gets a little bit cramped. I'm going to do four loops on each side again. So one more on each side. And then I'm going to cut them off of the bolts. Don't worry about right away whether you get the straight line when you cut it off. And I am going to add streamers to this one. So I've put all three together. You determine how long you want them. And then I'm going to come on the other side Cut them off. Make sure they're the same length. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of floral wire, put right where my thumb and forefinger, and tie it just as tight as I can. Now, you're ready to add it to your wreath, to your present, to the back of a chair at the wedding. And then I'm just going to fluff it out where I can see all three different colors. You can leave them one on top of each other, that's up to you, but when you pull them out, it makes your bow bigger. So I'm just going to fluff it. This is where I trimmed off of the end. I'm not crazy about how that looks, so I'm just going to go in, take my scissors, trim it down close to the wire, and then the rest of the tool will cover it up. And so now you've made your three colored tool bow. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.